it's Kathy, and we are at the Great Lakes Aquarium in Durham, Minnesota, and we're here for a very special reason. I have Alan White with me. Hi, Alan. Hi, Kathy. Thank you so much for having us. Alan's going to be diving with the sturgeon. Now, we're going to be talking about their new exhibit with the sturgeons coming up in a little bit, but the first thing that he does when he gets here is food prep. Now, if you take a look at uh, over here, it's the menu, and everything from birds and mice and rats to shrimp, where it says tails off. Do you have to take the tails take off? Take the tails off because they have a spine on them that can perforate the intestines of the uh, fish that we're feeding them to. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes before you get to see the fish upstairs in the Great Lakes Aquarium. So let's kind of watch them and see exactly what goes on with their food. So as we mentioned, they're taking the tails off of the shrimp right now so it doesn't perforate the intestines of whatever species will be eating it. They said they're just a little bit short, so are we going to have to thaw the frozen shrimp? Right. Oh, we're going to have to thaw. Has anybody got a hair dryer? We're going to do some quick thaw. <laughs> well, here. that's another, uh, when you get into food handling, we use basically the same type of uh, procedures as food in restaurants. I'd have to wear gloves. You throw uh, a thaw, thaw in cold water. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, I do that at home. That's yeah. what the bank tells you to do. Right. So, all right. So we've made our way through the Great Lakes Aquarium to the Unsalted Sea exhibit. This is their newest exhibit, and how long has it been up and running? This was opened last week, uh, last Thursday, it was a grand open. All right, so explain a little bit about what you can see here in the Unsalted Seas exhibit. The large tank that we're standing behind right now is the largest touch tank in the U.S. In Duluth, Minnesota. And it was right here in Duluth, Minnesota. Right now, I believe I've been gone, so I think there are five different subspecies of sturgeon in here right now. Uh, over by the, the clear areas, where uh, visitors are allowed to touch the sturgeon. They seem to they be don't very friendly. Like yeah, in fact, right here, as I lean over, they're kind of coming up to the top of the water like they're expecting me to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they do have